The Your Stories team getting results after an investigation into the death of a Canastota man at Van Dyne Center for Rehabilitation and Nursing. Tonight, nearly four months since James Bennett's death, News Channel Line's Madison Moore tells us the family is finally getting some answers. Less than 24 hours after we shared disturbing details about James Bennett's stay and subsequent death at Van Dyne, his brother Richard says the facility was back to ignoring his calls. So I waited two or three days and I called uh, Adam back and I got the same thing that I always get with Adam. No answer. Richard was still trying to get his hands on his brother's medical records and a $600 reimbursement check for James's personal belongings that went missing, but he kept getting the runaround. When we reached out, Van Dyne said Richard wasn't listed as James's health care agent and therefore couldn't receive the reimbursement or medical records. But Richard remained persistent, receiving this phone call a day after he told the facility he would be sharing his calls with News Channel 9 Your Stories. Later that afternoon, I get a call from the administrator of the hospital stating that she wants to give me the reimbursement check and she is going to send me the medical records. And to Richard's surprise, he had the check and medical records in hand by July 1st. It's no closure. And again, like I told you a couple of weeks ago, it's nothing about the money. It's, it's the treatment that he got there. Now, with hundreds of pages of medical records to comb through, Richard is left with more questions than answers, but none that will bring his brother back. Don't go there. Don't bring your loved ones there because they're going to come out in a body bag. Hoping his pleas can save at least one family from the pain he feels every day. In Canastota, Madison Moore, News Channel 9. When we reached out to Van Dyne to ask why they changed their mind, they said it was only after they were able to verify Richard's relationship to James. If you have a story idea, you have something you'd like us to investigate, give the Your Stories team a call anytime, or you can email us, yourstories, at localsyr.com.